All right, today we're going to talk about rational functions. So first of all, what is a rational function? A rational function is just a function that can be written as the ratio of two polynomials. So it's a ratio of two polynomial functions. All right, two polynomial functions, we could call them p of x and q of x. All right, so this new function, which is a rational function, we could call it r of x, it's just the ratio p of x over q of x. And since we can't divide by zero, then we are assuming that this q of x function is not just zero for all x. Okay, so um, so we're just looking at the ratio of two polynomial functions. So you have to remember what a polynomial is, and then we can identify um, whether a function is a rational function or not. So let's take a look at this first um, example. We have x squared over 5 minus 4 over x. All right, as it is now, this is the difference of two rational functions, but it's not a rational function uh, as it's written now, but all we need to do is be able to rewrite it as a rational function, and it's a rational function. So let's see if we can rewrite this as a rational function. Now we have the difference of two fractions, essentially, and so um, we can, um, combine these two fractions if we have a common denominator, right? So I'm going to multiply the first fraction, x squared over 5, by x over x, all right? So I'm going to take x over x times x squared over 5x, right? I want to have a common denominator, and if I multiply that first one by x over x, I'm really just multiplying by 1, so I'm not changing anything, um, but I'll get, oops, I'll get a uh, 5x in the, uh, in the denominator, all right? So I'm just taking x squared over 5, multiplying by x over x, all right? And then the other one I need needs a factor of 5 in the denominator, right? So I'm going to take the 4 over x, and I'm going to multiply it by 5 over 5, okay? So what I end up with, let me write it over here. Well, let's, let's write it over here. We end up with x cubed over 5x, right? Okay, I'll just write it 5x, and then minus uh, 20 over 5x. Now we have a common denominator and we can combine those two fractions into one um, one ratio, okay? So I'm going to write it over here. Uh, so that's equal to x cubed minus 20 all over 5x, okay? So now we have to ask ourselves, is that the ratio of two polynomials? So we have x cubed and minus 20 all right, so that's a polynomial, and 5x is a polynomial. Uh, remember that a polynomial, uh, in a polynomial, the powers of x have to be non-negative integers, and they are, right? We have a po power of 3 over on top, and we have a power of 1 on the bottom. And so we can say, yes, um, this function is rational because it can be expressed as um, the ratio of two polynomials. All right, so let's go ahead and do example two as well. Um, so we're given another uh, function. Now it is a ratio of two things, right? But remember that the, the ratio has to be a ratio of two polynomials. So um, we need to figure out if there's a way that we can express the numerator and denominator as a polynomial, which, you know, we could rewrite this as x to the one half plus, um, plus 5 over uh, x to the 1 half plus 5, right? Um, but then how do we get rid of, we, we don't, we remember that a polynomial has to have non, the powers of x have to be non-negative integers. And in this case, we don't have um, an integer. We have a half, right? So that's not an integer. Integers would be whole numbers, um, and they have to be non-negative. So, and is there any way we can express this, uh, you know, create the whole numbers out of these? Well, you know, I mean, we could, you know, multiply the numerator and denominator by x to the one half, but still you would have this five, then we'd have, it, we'd have an x to the one half. So, so there's no good way to uh, rewrite this as um, the ratio of two polynomials. So this one, the answer is no, because neither the numerator nor the denominator can be written as polynomials. 
All right, so that takes care of examples one and two, and I'll meet you in the next video.